Okay, uh, Stephen, uh, I see your question now. What, what your question is about concerns the Blackboard notes under Module 3 in Blackboard. And you say, you know, this long procedure about uh, Screenshot 5, you know, these uh, things have page numbers on them. You could say on page 7, and it would be about 15 minutes shorter for me to find what you're asking about. So you're asking about, let me just blow this up a little bit. You see, after getting the results of uh, the Marisquillo procedure, Excel said the Marisquillo procedure results in place in Worksheet Marisquillo, which is right here, this tab. And if I understand your question correctly, when you run the procedure, you don't get this tab. And um, so, why? Why might not you get it? Well, if, if we just scroll back up here, let me put this back down. There is going to be a point in which you tell uh, Excel where to put things. And uh, I, I don't have pH stat uh, on my computer uh, for a variety of reasons, and this is an unfortunate time when I don't have it. But here you're going to select this. And what I would do is hunt around for where um, it's going to put the new worksheet. It's going to ask you at some point, or you can tell it at some point, where you put the results of your analysis. Uh, maybe in the step earlier than this. Um, so you go through this, this stepwise procedure here, um, and then you're going to hit OK here, and maybe it just dumps them without asking you where to put them. But it's always going to put them somewhere. If it doesn't make the tab, it's going to put it on the same page that you're at. So you might just hunt around on this page, or this, what they call a worksheet. Okay, just scroll around here and see if it has shown up there instead. Now, if you're having problems getting the pH stat to work for you, uh, here's what I suggest. Um, there, there are data files that come with this course, and you should have them. And all the data files are, are here and have all this stuff worked out in them. So you could go here and you can find this, this data file called uh, Chi-Square Worksheets. And I've already got it open here. And here's a some data to do a Marisquillo uh, 2 by 3. Here's uh, just a regular, here's the chi-square data right here. And you could set it up to, to run this Marisquillo procedure. Here's, here's the information, the, the formulas that are used to to solve the problems over here. Okay, so Let's, let's just try something here. If we change 0.05 to 0.001, does anything change? I don't see it changing here. Put that back to 0.05. Um, let's change this value to something else like 0.9123. Okay, see what happens? You can... Uh, now let's just revert back to what it was. So you can uh, just put your data in these data sheets and and see what happens. I mean, it just does it for you. It's using this information over here to calculate the answers for you. This is why I don't need pH step because we have all these uh, data files already with all this stuff in it, and all you have to do is go in and change your values uh, to the ones that you have from your data. You don't really even have to, to know how to set up the... Uh, the procedures like it's showing you in that uh, in those notes it's already set up for you You just have to find the uh, the data file that has that in there so if your pH stat is not working right or you're getting confused by it you can open up this file and, and of course the only hard part is trying to figure out which one of these files to open up 
and it's usually not too hard. The way that I usually do it is by going into the book, as I did here, and, and finding the Marisquillo procedure, and then finding out that uh, an example is shown in E12.2 or P12.2 at the end of the chapter, and then I just go see what data set they're using there. Again, I just open it up. Here's the data file. Here's the very same data. I'm sure this is the, the these are the same data that are uh, used on the uh, yeah same data and used in the example. Okay, see all the information's the same, and we could have just because of the way this is set up, we could have just entered it here. Okay, let's just say if we you know we we could change the values here 151. 152. See, all, all the stuff changes. It's all set up, so if you put the data in, it will give you the answers, and you, you don't have to know how to select any of the uh, procedures at all. So when you get stuck like that, look for the uh, the data files that, that have, have it already set up. The formulas are already here. This is why I don't need pH stat. I can copy these formulas into Excel. This is all that they've done, and uh, and, and use them. Okay, I mean, I don't professionally. I don't have any use for pH stat. It's just a uh, device for students to to skip, you know, figuring out how to do things. Okay, let me just go back and see if there's any other part of your question I need to address. Um, I'm going to guess. I'm just just to address your issue here, Stephen. I'm going to guess that that the procedure showed up somewhere in the Excel file you're working on and you just don't see it. It may, may be, you know, maybe a new sheet showed up, but I would just hunt around in there uh, on the actual worksheet to see if, if the results showed up on the same worksheet instead of creating a tab. And it may be that you haven't told Excel how to create a tab. Okay, I hope this is helpful. Again, if you, you know, this is not helpful, shown in screenshot five. Shown on page seven, that's helpful that I can go straight there and find it uh, because there's many screenshots and it's not clear at all which screenshot is five. To say that it's in Blackboard, I'm in back Blackboard, I'm looking at the notes there. That's very helpful. So I can get, get to your answer right away. It took about 15 minutes to find out what you were talking about. Okay, thank you. Uh, wrong one. How do you stop? Okay.